Hey friends, Namaste and welcome in our one more insightful episode of Spiritual Talks. I'm Kavita, your host, and today we are going to discuss on a very sensitive topic that is alcohol and impact of alcohol on society. So we have our well-known guest Yashikarji, who is also motivational speaker and spiritual master, new age yogi and mental health coach. So without much delay, hi Yash, welcome. Thank you. Hello everyone. So Yash, today's topic is really very much interesting and so, I mean, a lot of people must be, you know, waiting for this topic. topic yeah. Yeah. So what is your thought on alcohol and is it really right to have alcohol? Uh, look, so many people consume alcohol. It's a big uh, industry by itself. But however, personally speaking, I don't support, uh, unless it's like a need for any kind of medical purpose or all, I don't support the culture of taking alcohol because it can put your life in risk and the risk of uh, people around you. You know, people, people around you, their life can also be in risk because of alcohol. So I would suggest that one start, try to stay away, especially when someone is driving a vehicle or something. And there are organizations like CAD and all, which we directly talk about this. So I would say that so many of the wrongdoings in the society happen under the influence of alcohol. That more than an exception, it's like a rule that if someone is consuming alcohol, the chance of something not going right is obviously there. Mm -hmm. Not that everybody who consumes alcohol is doing getting into problems and all. But if someone has to take my opinion about what it is, first of all, I'm not saying that people who take alcohol, there's something wrong about that and all. That's their own personal choice. But if any kind of social organization or government uh, tries to ban the use of liquor, uh, I would support them. So, uh, in your opinion, what is the impact? As you described a lot of things, uh, if we say, you know, example of Gujarat, it is completely yeah. banned. Also Bihar. Bihar. And Tish Kumar has done a very good work that uh, he has banned alcohol, which has helped a lot of women folk there. Because a lot of, lot of men who used to earn the money, used to spend it on alcohol and used to return back to their houses empty-handed. Right. So this was uh, affecting the livelihood and saving capacity of the family and hence the society on the whole. So on the first step Nitish Kumar did uh, that he banned uh, like you know liquor like that sale of liquor and all these things which helped the economy I think Bihar economy that way and it was not an easy step when someone when a lot of people are drinking uh, consuming alcohol and uh, using liquor and all then it's not easy, it's not a popular move that way because a lot of people are uh, enjoying that. But it was a, a great step, a very uh, daring step and a, a very socially very justified step because it helped the family, especially women to have a say and don't forget that a lot of these men used to beat their wife and be, there was chances of domestic violence after consuming alcohol. So when I talk about something, it's not only from an individual perspective, it's also from a social perspective. Okay, for around 100,000 people consume alcohol, maybe 10, 20, 100, 200, 2,000 don't misuse that state. But a lot of people may misuse that state. So overall for the society's sake, I would say say and stay for the fact that if someone doesn't consume liquor and alcohol, it's good from a social perspective. I have not brought spirituality right now in picture, I am talking only from social perspective that uh, when someone drinks, be it a male or a female, they get justified to say or do anything. Even if I see from medical perspective, any kind of liquor, alcohol, they slow down the reaction rate, which means if you are suppose you are driving and you are under the effect of any alcohol or, or any kind of liquor or anything, even drugs, you will be reacting very slow. So you are taking the life of your own self in danger and taking the life of others around you also in big danger. And sometimes so many accidents can happen, people's life uh, can go away as well as the life, uh, life of people who are around you. Imagine if the only earning member of the family dies in a road accident, then the impact is not on one person, it's impact is on two, three, maybe more, many more people around him or her. So that's why okay i don't want to take away the freedom of enjoyment but then one has to be super responsible when someone is consuming something like this because the responsibility is on you when you consume something like this you are putting definitely putting yourself and society on the whole in danger you may escape the danger but definitely there is an adventure 
which can very easily turn into misadventure. And once something happens, if you see the face of people who have lost their sons or daughters in road accidents under the effect of liquor, or if someone who is under the effect of liquor is driving and you know accidentally kills someone, what is see the effect after effect of that? So it's not recommended at all to uh, take any kind of alcohol of any kind. I'm not talking about any mild and all. And second thing is that obviously in, in lot of industries it's considered a welcoming step. Again, if you are doing that, you have to be respons extra responsible. If I would say first of all, try not to consume it. But if you are consuming it, the risk and responsibility both goes with you. So you have to be extra careful with that. It comes in a package. And that's why I welcome any social organization or government organizations or any kind of non-government organizations which speak against any kind of use of alcohol. Some stay it, say and stay on the track of, you know, driving, like, you know, while driving, you should not have alcohol. I am going one step ahead. I am saying try to not have alcohol. There are other ways of enjoying life. And it's not like you cannot put others' life and your own life at risk. Also, you become very careless in the way you behave changes. See the coincidence just before coming for this program, someone called me and was complaining about their partner. Lady was complaining about her partner and very elder, elderly lady, that he under the effect of liquor misbehaves with her. So I just told her that, and this couple is around in 70s. So I told them uh, that I'm going for a program. So I was thinking of maintaining like, you know, a, more like a balanced, neutralistic approach. But now after talking to you, <laughs> it's like a message from God that, look at even at the age of 70, when the partnership has been so long and so good, the person once he takes alcohol, I'm not blaming men are always like this, but generally men under the effect of alcohol, they misbehave with women generally. So that's very bad. That should not be encouraged. And I would suggest that everyone who can in their own ways suggest uh, individuals not to get into this effect. There are a lot of ways of enjoying. And enjoyment is also about not only your own happiness. Sometimes you can get enjoyment by giving happiness to others. Let's say you go to feed dogs, cats, poor people. You go to take care of, uh, of a lot of farmers, poor farmers. You take care of people who are not having enough. You encourage them. You go to schools, uh, take care of children who are having, who are underprivileged, who need financial support, moral support, emotional support. I've been doing a lot of programs for uh, workshops, free workshops for people who need motivation, talking to them, understanding their problems. So all these, all these things can help a lot. So this can be done very properly, and you enjoy in different ways. This is a way of enjoyment, but it's a risky way of enjoyment. I always say value is benefit upon cost. So the benefit, this, this may have a benefit, but the value is definitely low. Why? Because the cost is too high. So I say value is benefit upon cost. So the benefit out of having alcohol is less, whereas the cost is high. Hence, the value is very low. So in short, there is no benefit. Very negligible. Because unless it's for medical purpose, I don't support it. Okay. Even I'm going to a very extreme step. Unless it's for some medical benefit, if you're someone is under too much pain and can't like till the, can't survive till the time some medical help comes to him or her and they need like in a very near death situation they need some help to counter the pain and all that's understandable. But otherwise, I don't support any kind of uh, use of liquor, and uh, it's very uh, welcoming on the behalf of the government to do any step to counter this social menace of uh, consuming alcohol and putting your and your other's life around you to under risk. So uh, I understood like the way you explain each and everything, but still I think the next question is very silly. Uh, I want to know, is there really any advantage of having alcohol? Medical wise, medical science wise, it creates some kind of trance. Mm -hmm. Look, I told you every human being needs trance to exist. Trance is the biggest force of supporting brain cells. But the trance which you get through alcohol is at the cost of your life cells. Your body cells definitely suffer. And if you use alcohol continuously, your, uh, your body, critical body uh, organs also suffer. Your liver suffers a lot if you take, uh, consume alcohol. Your reaction time gets slower. So there are a lot of uh, ill effects of taking alcohol. There's a fine line when you're taking it very less in amount and how it makes you feel. That's a, again, it's an exception rather than a rule. So overall, I don't see much advantage. Yes, if you're too stressed, and you don't have any immediate way of, because when someone is too stressed, sometimes it happens with them that they don't go for anything to distract themselves. 
So, these people they justify the use of alcohol saying that we are very stressed and we want to have it to for mostly people are doing it to forget something. So, so basically people who are people who are who do doing this they, they get into a relaxed state, it is not that they do not get into a relaxed state, the state is relaxed, but the critical organs are suffering and then there is the effect of hangover. Do not forget when you take such things your uh, awareness level drops. Actually you are enjoying that uh, lack of awareness, your lack of responsibility. You will see a lot In of short to just yeah. to run away from your reality, uh, reality and just to forget yeah. with this situation and then people make it habit yeah. that is yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Most people who are having alcohol are doing it to get away from reality or help them imagine something which is not possible to imagine, but at the cost of the body and the life of others suffer a lot. The cost is too high in this. Yeah. It is better to train yourself in a disciplined way every day to get into a better aspect of it. And certain industries to it suppose that it is like a culture to have drinks. If in fact, if you say no to such people, they will take it in a very negative way. So, if in a gathering you are invited and out of 10, 9 people are drinking and you say no, you will feel odd especially if you are in a weaker position and these people are in a superior financial position to you or professional position to you and they can mock you also at that time. That is the time when the integrity is tested because if you do not believe in it and you do not take it, you earn respect that time from them also. They may not say something, but they will respect that this person despite being in the social position he or she is has chosen to do something. So, if you do not feel saying yes, never say yes. If you feel like saying yes, only then say yes. That will earn you respect also. Love is very important. Our whole media talks about love, but respect is even more important because when any kind of feeling is based on respect, it will stay long term. Any short term feeling generally misses respect. Any long term feeling will always have respect. And if you do well, even your enemies can start respecting you and transform their feeling towards you. That is really very uh, beautiful insight. Yeah. And you cannot earn respect unless you respect yourself. If you have earned your own respect, then you will see people respecting you. So, for that you should justify your behavior. Nobody else is important. That is where integrity is so important. Integrity has nothing to do with others. Even if the whole world is doing the wrong thing and you are doing the right thing, you will have respect for yourself. In the world 98 or 99 percent people uh, consume non-vegetarian food and I am not saying you should not consume it. I am saying try to make efforts to reduce the consumption of any non vegetarian food. That is again a stand. Just because 99 percent people are not doing it does not mean they are right and I am wrong. If I feel it, I am justified for it. So, why not? So, uh, is there any disadvantages? I know there are a lot of dis disadvantages definitely and in uh, you as you shared about social perspective, but definitely there is you know lot of uh, challenges as you give an example of a couple. Yeah. Especially for women, it is really very hard. Yeah. So, what, what sort of other disadvantage? Look, the biggest disadvantage of alcohol consumption is drunken driving. Yeah. You see the maximum, the biggest killer the, which, which we say in Hindi, Akal Mrityu, yeah. which is non-time death. Yeah. The biggest cause of non-time death is road accidents. And in this category also the biggest deaths happen category wise, number wise because of uh, under the influence of the alcohol. So, in a way the biggest cause of uh, unnecessary deaths is road accidents under the influence of alcohol and this is a social fact, it is not personal, it is not individual also, it is a registered fact which is happening every year. So, and I see and I see a lot of times in the gathering, everybody starts drinking and obviously just because someone has to drive the car, not that he or she would not like to drink, but when the time comes to drive that person is holding life of the entire group at stakes. So, what happens because everybody, everybody is selfish normally in society. So, it is like okay if others are enjoying why should not I enjoy. So, they also everybody drinks. Now, once everybody has taken a drink, they feel like okay who will drive the car now. Okay, now what happens they think police is the problem. They are primarily thinking okay police is the problem because police will stop them and if they you know find someone they can charge or you know chalan and all. But truly speaking, you are your police is not your enemy, you are your own enemy. Yeah. Forget about the police. First, if you drive in a wrong way and if the car skids or this accident, so many people will die or will be injured for sure. So, is it worth it? 
is that cup of tea. So, one should always decide if they are going for a function that at least one of the person should be the guy or girl in that gathering who should not drink if they are planning to drive. And you can say, okay, this, if this thing is done by same person, it's a problem. So, okay, so choose. Like in a friend circle, choose every time, okay, today person A, tomorrow person B, third day person C, whenever you are planning like that. So, one should do the sacrifice. Someone has to sacrifice for safety and stability for the entire unit. Yeah, that's beautiful. And one should, you know, take a call for this thing. Like Yeah, look, there are all social issues which make a lot of uh, effect. First thing, someone who is not drinking, people make them feel isolated. So, people who are drinkers, regular drinkers, they try to justify their drinking by mocking those who are not drinking. They make them feel they are not a person enough or a personality enough or man enough or women enough. If a guy is not drinking, they will say he is not man enough to drink. If a girl is not drinking, they will say she is like a bahenji kind of girl. You see the tags they are using. So, they are trying to, in a way, uh, trying to attack the character and they are doing it out of actually fear psychosis. They are themselves wrong. So, it is like before someone points fingers to them, so they are justifying it like offense is the best defense. They are attacking them only. Who are they to give the certificate? When you are yourself drinking something, when you yourself are in a way running away from your reality, who gives you the certificate to attack others who are at least trying to live their reality? But we should be courageous enough to face such a situation. Always. Not only courageous enough, please speak freely against them. Yeah. Because they will not stop freely speaking against you. Look, it is very much like if they are not having mercy on you, why are you thinking of having mercy on them? If they talk so openly and justify having alcohol, you also talk very strong stand and justify not having alcohol. There are a lot of drinks which are much more better, uh, much more stronger and better drinks than alcohol. Coconut water is so good. A lot of fruit juices are so good. A lot of mock drinks can be so bad, so much good. So, okay, they have a lot of options. You also have a lot of options. In fact, we have, uh, other people have more options. I mean, that much alcohol, alcohol is not. It's not definitely not a need, and it's definitely not a comfort. Also, if some people want to risk their life, it's fine. Let them have it. But in long run. And medical science also says this, in long run consumption of alcohol is very bad for a liver. It is not a good thing. When anything has a, any kind of warning, so that means there is a chance. Yeah, accident may happen, may not happen, but there is always a chance in that case. So, try to just do your, your best for that. So, drunken driving is the prime, uh, I would say the ill effect of taking alcohol. Second is domestic violence. A lot of the cases of domestic violence are under the effect of alcohol. Again, there are exceptions, I am not going on them. A lot of people, the entire family drinks alcohol peacefully, but such cases are less. Very less. So, domestic violence second. Third, crime. A lot of crime is done under influence of alcohol. A lot of police departments will agree with me. We are making the, the work of police departments much more easier if you are not supporting alcohol. So, for a healthy society, healthy nation, and I would say healthy world, where to not take or minimize the use of alcohol. I am not saying immediately stop everything, but definitely make efforts to minimize it. Right. And you will see the difference. Fourth, health perspective. Any person who is into good health habits would prefer drinking or consuming products which are good for health. Exception of enjoyment of alcohol is different thing. It's, it cannot be a natural, regular part of your diet. It is not good to have it. You are creating very different and, and I, I have not brought spirituality yet in picture. I am only talking the logical facts. See the crime rates, see the domestic violence rates, see the road accidents under the influence of alcohol. This, this number is in millions. You can give me 10 examples of people who are not doing anything under the influence of alcohol. I am giving you a million examples of people who are doing something under the influence of alcohol. That is very true. Yeah. So, exceptions do not make rules. Basically, consumption of alcohol is very bad for health and one should not do it. And if someone else is not having it, please do not persuade or request or force them to have it because they, the person who is not having it sometimes goes through some kind of social isolation. Yeah. And it is not, it's not that people who are having it are not aware of it. And I have seen so much use of slangs after taking of alcohol. Like a lot of times you do not need to use slang. But still, you will use it out of fun of it after the consumption of alcohol. 
Sometimes, okay, you are using slang. If the same slang is used on you, you may feel very bad. So, just because you are under the influence of alcohol doesn't mean you get a social permission to use abusive language against anyone. And a lot of times, fight starts because of abusive language. Many times, even in the movies, this, this is shown that people, they are starting to abuse each other and the fight starts. And this is possible under the influence of alcohol because you think you are a special creation of God when you are having alcohol. You feel nothing will happen to you. And that time it may not affect you, but after the, the effect of the alcohol is over, <laughs> then you will definitely feel the pain. So, it is uh, negative in this three, three direct social impact topics. First, drunken driving, very big cause of death. Second, domestic violence, so much cases of domestic violence happens. And second, third, obviously the crime rate, a lot of crime happens under the influence of alcohol. So, these three are social causes and I am not reaching on spirituality yet, we will cover it later. But right now from social perspective, not good to have alcohol. Fourth is health. Imagine I am giving health, the what I talk the most about, I am giving it fourth priority because the first three priorities, the number of damage, the collateral damage is crazy high. It is like you will save so many lives if you are opposing these things. Yeah, very true. So, what do you want to say? Uh, in health perspective. One more thing I like to add, I suddenly got this point. Also the children who see their parents drinking, mm -hmm. that is a, that's a, like a family relationship abuse. If a child sees the parents drinking from a very young age, what do you think the child will do later? He will do the same thing. He or she may do the same thing. Yeah. Now imagine everybody wants, everybody wants that their bridegroom or bride, both, not only men and a girl's family would like their bridegroom to be a decent guy who is taking care of them and the and vice versa for the family of the boy also. So, what culture are you giving your parents if you are uh, if you are giving your children if you are going for this? So, anybody who is drinking and encouraging drinking and doing it in front of their children or if it is a joint family in front of the children of their relatives is basically encouraging a very negative culture. Because once you are under effect of alcohol, how great a person you are, you will have difficulty controlling the irresponsible sense of reaction because that is a medical effect. Your body's reaction slows down, your capacity to understand things slows down when you are under effect of alcohol. That is why any head of the state or any chief minister who is supporting uh, complete ban or any kind of steps to control the use of alcohol, I greatly welcome their step. I would really like to salute them, respect them. They are doing a great thing because sometimes it is on the cost of popular vote because a lot of people loved consuming alcohol, but it is a great, great choice. It shows their integrity and I would like to thank uh, Gujarat government and obviously Bihar government for taking such kind of, uh, you know, very welcoming step towards this. Yeah. And uh, once in our city also in Chandrapur, it was banned, but again they started. Still that is good. <laughs> if they are sometimes banning it, that is also better than not banning it at all. People can't take it if suddenly they are, you know, banning it and then again they are starting, again they are doing this. Look, here I get into philosophy, nothing, never, never do anything suddenly. <laughs> Whatever you do in life, do it a bit smooth. People like smooth, nobody likes sudden changes. But the government uh, decisions will be suddenly always. No, actually a lot of times government also prepare, prepares awareness. Look, understand it is not easy to run a government. When you, it is so, we think that, okay, imagine you have to manage such a huge population of any state or city. It is not an easy task. So they also, I think they also take steps of their camp campaigns, awareness campaigns and all. But it is not easy because we all want so many rights. We do not want to do our duties. What government is doing is government's work. Government can't do very, very, very basic small work at our house level. Like if, if there is some kind of um, negativity or some kind of, okay, some kind of uh, wastage in the dustbin, government can, okay, make a very good, uh, you know, the municipality corporations vehicles to come and pick it up from your house. They will not let the guy climb your stairs, come to, your, uh, you know, doorstep. And you should also take responsibility to make it reach the right, right place. Because I see that sometimes there is a proper place where these cars are parked and they take and they do they do regular. There is a lot of improvement in the country in the case of cleanliness in the last two years. 
lot of times lot of things have happened obviously it's not 100% but definitely better than last two years yeah we can see like uh, earlier it was only in you know big cities but big now cities. in every small yes, towns yes, yes. and i and i'm very impressed by their timing also they are oh. maintaining the timing and also they play some song which is localized so in gurgaon the song is different if you go to patna song is different so in if you go to different cities north and east, south as well as well it's different so they are involving so they are doing very good work but we should encourage them yeah. if someone is doing something good how small you are not helping nature you are not helping divinity by discouraging them at least be neutral if you can't help them at least be neutral you have no rights to discourage someone who out of his or her weakness is trying to do something right very nicely you said well you said about i mean you said one example about kids when they see at very yeah. young age right yeah. so nowadays you know a lot of youngsters they are attracted to drinking alcohol yeah, yeah. and uh, if you see i mean how should the approach of their parents i so first of all on this point i would like to thanks the indian parents because i travel a lot to western countries also and i've seen the good and bad part of both the societies east and west what is great in india which is nowhere in the world is the way the indian parents are responsible towards their children it's amazing the kind of support look the governments in different countries have so many departments to support mental health mental health is not a small thing for them it's a very big department yeah. this there is lot of money being spent on maintaining mental health of citizens of their country in india all that happens entirely through the family especially to mother and father they literally live hardly 20% of their life enjoyment time in west nobody will leave their enjoyment time for their children in western countries also they take they take responsibility of the children they are very balanced and all but they'll not leave their enjoyment time in india every second parents are sacrificing their enjoyment time for their children a lot of times the women don't go to certain parties and functions because their children's exam is there a lot of times they don't they don't go for some kind of you know fam, fam, family weddings and all because the examination is there a lot of times they maintain with a guy they would never maintain they would like to break the relationship and go for divorce but they would still maintain for the children's sake and vice versa also yeah so what i'm saying is that it's all sacrifice so for children the level of sacrifice indians give i don't see that example so much and i'm talking about the countries i have traveled relatively indian parents are amazingly good and because of that they have protected the culture of healthy habits these children who are brought up under the wings of their parents are more responsible than those where there is a free choice to choose to consume alcohol when your child is consuming alcohol and you are not stopping it then you are creating a trend that fine line has completely got eroded at that point so the parents who are doing a good job of stopping their children from consuming alcohol or trying to create a culture in their own house or society they have done a great effort their children are more responsible because after okay there may be a case where someone is consuming alcohol and still is responsible but there's lot of chance that they may not happen so if someone is not consuming alcohol encourage that person and if the families that is happening that's a very encouraging social, social uh, movement society is doing a lot that way if they are encouraging their children to be doing well now all the other thing is that is this is is this appreciated appreciation makes a big motivation force so if parents who are sacrificing so much i would say they should also go and celebrate sometimes in a non alcoholic way they should definitely celebrate because when they are celebrating this whole thing they are giving encouragement first to themselves and then to those children who are being responsible yes see because that is very much important for women especially because they they leave even their career for yeah, kids yeah 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 and i salute are women especially yeah. in india no no i saw it in my own family my mother was as well educated as my father was but she left her career to uh, take care of the children and i have seen so many such examples and they do it just like as if it's supposed to be done but see what what she has done she has first of all robbed herself from the opportunity to have experiences in life forget everything else plus minus okay because a lot of them husband say that okay we compensate their loss of job by compensating them in financial terms okay completely accepted what about the experiential angle 
they experience life so limited and soulless so that's only for the children and that's why i love it when the children take care of the parents in the older age that's a very good culture uh, so far india has it's definitely getting depleted now i see old age homes here also and uh, supreme court of india gives such a good judgments in this regard that one should try to you know take care of the parents and don't leave them uh, um, unattended and they have used even you know the property laws in such a way that the parents should be uh, taken care of which is very good because indian parents go through lot of pain and trauma to raise their children so and i would like that to be reciprocated from the children side also and definitely alcohol will not help in this story if i bring alcohol in story it can create irresponsibility a uh, irresponsible uh, behavior from the child side that okay who cares and or in the west everybody drinks and there are so many old age homes in the west everything in the west is not good you know many times uh, because we have said glamorizing west so much we put everything in west in such a high glamour there's lot of problems in west which india is not having mm -hmm. drugs there is amazing drug culture in western countries so much so that in some of the cities in the states they have unofficially accepted drug culture imagine we are talking about liquor and alcohol here and we have gone there the problem has reached to drugs level and here uh, if we see you know except middle class uh, families or if we see lower class or uh, so called elite culture or high, higher culture you know mm -hmm. they made it as a habit or they they just justify their culture because yeah. lower class they don't have option dekhiye bhrashtachar ki ganga hamesha upar se behti hai The, the 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 river of corruption always flows from high to low understand when you are becoming richer and when you become rich that's a great thing for society and for yourself it's a very good thing to happen but your children have a option to remain spoiled because neither will they have the hunger nor they have the need to be of talent so when you don't have the need and hunger to be talented you would like not to be talented and live a comfortable life and you will stop other upcoming talented people to rise in some unfair means mm -hmm. it's more like i would not like to work hard and i would not let like, let others to do so it's kind of that and this is born out of the tendency of jealousy the tendency of being pampered spoiled and most rich children have a option towards that and they are they can get much more vulnerable towards drinking or consuming drugs or something like this yeah because they not use the brain always no first of all financial power yeah. government has taxed all this alcohol and all these kind of things very highly which is very good but the point is the rich can still afford it and the richer you are the more you can afford it and it becomes a status symbol also there are some brands of alcohol you know name them they are considered like status symbol so my point is basically they are enjoying their privilege in a wrong way they should be asked by their parents to spend time in the ground level and that cannot be done by government that can only be done by the parents so most of the and this is lot how law of karma works when i see so many children of rich people going through wrong things and later on suffering is completely law of karma because the parents by not stopping it has encouraged it see parents themselves are so busy and they don't have that time or if they teach also how and why they learn look because in my training in bhakti yoga i was taught one thing that nobody lacks the time everybody lacks the consciousness when i say i don't have time what i'm saying is not that i don't have time what i'm saying is that i don't have time for task 1 but i have ta time for task 2 So when I say I don't have time, I am talking about prioritization. So most people suffer from the problem of prioritization. And when we talk about spirituality, also most people try to take from spirituality. They don't try to give to spirituality. Mm -hmm. Everybody would like to go to a spiritual sage or someone who is an excellent character, or be it he or she. But nobody wants their own children to become a sage of excellent character. that's a very hypocrite situation say example of buddha and his father even buddha yeah. his father didn't want it to what it yeah so it, that is everywhere hypocrisy is a very strong part of human culture that way because 
why is that because of lack of sacrifice we are so used to take that we feel by giving we are getting robbed if you are contributing to your society or nation you should feel happy about it why are you feeling sad about it it's a very good thing and the and everybody who is contributing should be encouraged that's a lot of my uh, you know focus is on this point encouragement is very much required not every kind of encouragement in terms of money a lot of times it can be in terms of gestures also that's why i generally try to encourage people who are doing something good how small it is their quantity or quality is different but their intention is the first thing even legally speaking the first thing which is seen in any kind of legal action is intention so what was the intention is the most important thing here so that's what my point is any kind of culture which supports alcohol sooner or later will suffer will go through the consequences the, the way law of karma works that's why we should encourage use of completely abstaining from such habits and develop i'm not saying don't enjoy i'm not saying don't have good kind of addictions there can be a lot of good kind of addictions reading ramayana mahabharat very good kind of addiction music you, you, you can say, someone can say oh reading ramayana mahabharat is not a secular option okay music mathematics not only from course perspective learning music and mathematics is such a good thing for your brain and heart and the foremost important which became addiction in my life that is meditation yeah without meditation to so look is the royal path of meditation in some cases is the source of power the way meditation makes you powerful nothing else does it's a very absolute statement i'm giving because meditation is so closely connected to breath work from health perspective so many hospitals have departments on meditation even in the airports now they have a one room for they call it prayer room wow. lot of airports you see prayer room why are they asking you to have a prayer room they know that mind is so disturbed by going in the prayer room you are helping yourself and the society because human population is 7 billion plus if even half the people are mentally disturbed it's like sitting on a time bomb so it's that's why being happy being peaceful and there's so many good things to learn sports i have very high regard for sportsmen or sports women such a good thing they are doing you take take part of some sports but again let it be a fair game don't play for winning play for winning in a fair way there's no problem to aim for winning but there's a problem when you try to aim for winning in an unfair way because you know yourself that you have failed at that moment when you try someone better than you to make them lose in an unfair way so next in spirituality what is the role of alcohol uh look most of the now first i'll talk about india the most of the religious and spiritual organizations in india completely abstain from alcohol so first of all they don't encourage alcohol and uh, i learned a lot i got a lot of uh, you know help from kundalini yoga and himalayan masters and all these kind of traditional systems there to any kind of Uh, any kind of addiction itself is not considered good forget to the level of going to alcohol anything to do with addictions is not considered good in fact the pillars of uh, kalyug are as per spiritually are madhiryale eshale swarnale kind of especially the concept of having uh, you know any kind of liquor or any kind of addictions with alcohol or something like that so basically my simple point is that you have to first of all learn what is good for your health and not good for health let's take medical science as the standard point for everything because so you should be aware i mean aware enough totally conscious aware. enough you should be conscious and if you are consuming alcohol and you can't stop yourself from consuming alcohol only take as much as allows you to be in control nothing should be con- nothing should be able to control you there is a very good saying of uh, a particular um, a sultan of long time earlier times when he visited india he was not from typically from india so he has never seen a elephant mm-hmm. so he was given a elephant to ride and so when he is on the top of the elephant he asked the person okay so where is the iski lagam kahan hai where is the rein of the this animal so they say ki ye elephant hai isme lagam nahi hoti ye mahavat to chalata hai usko lagam uski bhi hath mein nahi hoti actually this so this guy says okay let me come down the elephant first so when he is off the elephant he says i don't ride anything which i don't control so my point is the same anybody who has become a ruler or leader trust me they have some qualities that's why they are a ruler or leader we may criticize them but understand not everybody becomes a leader to become a leader you must have certain qualities which others don't have 
लोग अपना दोस्त अपने बराबर बनाते हैं लोग अपना मसीहा और लीडर अपने से बेटर चाहते हैं सो पीपल चूज देयर फ्रेंड्स इक्वल टू देम पीपल ऑलवेज टेक लीडर्स बेटर देन देम वॉट एवर यू से बिकॉज दे आर चूजिंग सो इन द केस ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑल्सो दे आर सर्टन एक्सट्रीम टामसिक ग्रुप्स ऑल्सो वेयर कंजम्पन ऑफ एल्कोहल इज अलाउड बट अगेन दैट्स अ एक्सेप्शन रहा देन अ रूल most of the center stage organizations spiritual across thousands of years have abstained from using alcohol only some very small sects who are tamsik or in extreme category they allow it and it's their choice and i, I don't to support such uh, view points i would say whatever you can do by yourself because purpose of spirituality is independence forget strength goodness badness all these things spirituality should make you independent in fact the the concept of samadhi itself is independence of uh, taking air or oxygen yeah. so anything which is making you dependent for happiness or relaxation that concept itself has faced the failed the cause of being a soul keeper to make your soul mind and life energy stronger you should try to become independent that's why i support this vegetarian culture also a lot even uh, being a vegan because all these things are making your soul more powerful more independent so is the stand for spirituality also yeah it's really a bigger and broader perspective when you say it about the spirituality you know one can really understand from here well uh, how big is the commercial contribution of alcohol look it's a very huge industry uh, and the only good thing i see about alcohol is that commercially it gets uh, it's 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 like a magical force it can create so much money poor people are also you'll see in queues outside a alcohol shop they don't have um, you know money to eat, eat but, but they, they will yeah. see the power of this alcohol that even you will see poor people borrowing money and people become such good friends i have seen uh, consuming all this kind of things uh, can make you very good friends to new people <laughs> it's very crazy people love to you know uh, normally they will not talk to each other but because if they want to share alcohol or all they become very good friends so commercially it is ha- it has a great impact and the problem is when in society majority of people start doing something you can't ignore that effect so again this people are you know financially letting the trade of alcohol happen so you can't avoid it i i, I don't think you will be able to change that effect but you can only keep in your own life up to the extent which can which you can make it happen look commerce is also a, a big form of religion commerce is not not a religion don't think commerce is out of religion when so many people across their nationalities and across their belief system when follow a system that system is a religion so you may be of any caste any creed any so called religion or even you know in some kind of practice or cult but if you are taking money and commerce as the center step so you all are following the religion of money and commerce so that's what's happening here that commerce is definitely the one of the pillars of human civilization as of now earlier there used to be barter system now it's commerce so in commerce alcohol is a big impact so we can't help that but at least we can ensure that it's done responsibly it's not done at the cost of any kind of emotional pain which is dukh or any kind of physical pain which is dard forget about letting someone's life be at risk so that's the only condition where it's okay to be having this menace of society thank you thank you yash i think this is the best conversation uh, till now and it's a great message i mean the entire conversation is with great message to the entire society into the world so friends i i feel and i trust you love this conversation and you learned a lot from here because sometimes we just drive we just you know uh, run away from our uh, situation but we need to be conscious and aware enough because we are just not living for ourselves but for the entire family and we have social responsibilities too thank you for watching this episode and thank you please like share subscribe and share this video with everyone it may help your dear ones thank you yash for coming thank you thank you